Well, good morning, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Thanks so much for dropping on. And a couple of things to cover. First off, no need for alarm. Yes, you may notice I have some blood in my eye. It's called subconjective. It's called a, a conjective hemorrhage. It's not uncommon. It happens. Happens maybe a little bit more for people like me because I'm on a blood thinner. Um, actually, I'm on two blood thinners. So it is uh, nothing to worry about. It doesn't interfere with my sight or anything like that. Arlen did not beat me up. She did not hit me with a pillow. She did not hit me with a frying pan. Nothing like that. And the reason she didn't, our anniversary. Yes, you know, I, I thought I, it, this was interesting to me. So Arlen and I just celebrated last night our anniversary. Nine years married anniversary. Okay. Married for nine years. And then in turn, we've, you know, been working on this relationship for 11 years. I really and truly have to take a look at what you see um, and what you hear on YouTube as strange, bizarre. Let me tell you how different, you know, they tell you don't do this, don't do that. Here, you know, here's a list. Don't bring your girlfriend, Filipina, to the United States. Don't buy land or help her family. Don't, you know, do not make her self-sufficient. Do not, you know, put her in a position where she doesn't need you. Make sure that she needs your money. You know something? I took Arlen to the U.S. Arlen has a green card. Arlen had bank accounts, uh, still has bank accounts in the U.S., all right? A car, property, all right? The whole nine yards. Did she leave me? No. And she had Filipina friends. Don't think for a minute she did not have Filipina friends. No, I don't believe it. You know something? I believe that bringing your Filipina to the U.S., that is a fucking myth about bad men. And I, I'm not saying it's not true by any way, shape, or means. What I'm saying is, is if you're a fucking dirtbag, you're a dirtbag. If you're going to treat your wife like shit, well, you're going to treat her like shit. If she was a bad woman to begin with, well, she's going to be a bad woman. She's a bad woman in the Philippines. She's going to be a bad woman in the United States, period. End of story. I don't think there's any harm whatsoever and bringing a good woman to the United States. In fact, we have several subscribers that are in relationships, marriages, relationships of up of 20 years with Filipinas. Yeah, I can't, can't deal with it. Don't make your Filipina self-sufficient. Well, first off, Arlen was self-sufficient before I met her, but... Did I add to her self-sufficiency? Well, of course. Arlen owns property in Mindanao. She owns a house in Mindanao. She owns property in Luzon. She owns a condo in Luzon. She has bank accounts. She has money in the bank. Um, she has, let's see here. How many vehicles are in her name? Let's see. The one, two, three, three vehicles in her name. Okay, what's wrong with her being self-sufficient? Yet, she didn't leave me. I'm old, I'm fat, I'm bald. I'm, quite frankly, I don't consider myself good looking at all. All right? Yet, my wife sticks around. Gee, making sure she has a future, that is something that you're not supposed to do. You know, it's that carrot and stick thing, all right? Oh, you want to, you know, uh, he who has the money is king. That might be true. You know something? Um, throughout this most recent health issue, 
who was there for me? Or Lynn. Or Lynn could have walked away and she would have been fine financially. And I would have been okay. I would have hired a caretaker and everything else. All right. Licked my my wounds and and I don't know what I would have done. But the point is, is Arlen stood right beside me, sleeping in that hospital room, getting this, getting that. You, you know, you would be so surprised at everything that Arlen does to keep track of doctor's appointments, medications, changes of medications, um, the whole nine yards that goes along with that. My point with that is, is that there are plenty of good Filipina women. Plenty. All right. Now, you know, I can't tell you whether you can marry a bar girl or date a bar girl. Arlen never worked in a bar or restaurant or anything like that. All right. She never lived in Angeles prior to moving here with me. I can't tell you what makes a good woman. I can't tell you, you know, Arlen may have multiple red flags, according to some people. She's from the province. She is a sole supporter of her family, or not the sole supporter, but a major supporter of her family. I mean, there are all kinds of red flags. She doesn't come from a rich family. She comes from actually a very, I don't know, I, I you know, it's hard to say poor. Because while they may not have much money, they are a loving, caring, and very, very involved family of individuals. So anyways, my, my point with all of this is, 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 you know, you will find bloggers out there whose partner or girlfriend has kicked them to the curb. You will find bloggers out there whose partner or girlfriend took advantage of them. You will find uh, bloggers out there, but bloggers represent such a small percentage, such a small percentage of the people that are out there. All right. Even if, even if there were 3,000. American bloggers in the Philippines. That would only represent less than 10% of the number of registered expats in the Philippines. So, I mean, there are so many people, all right? And when you boil it all down, what it comes down to is, is you know, was I lucky? Maybe, perhaps, I consider myself incredibly lucky, all right? Arlen is a better wife than wife number one, a better wife than wife no ex-wife number one and ex-wife number two. She's better than both of them to me, all right? Ex-wife number two is a great mom. I'm not going to argue about that, okay? Um. But the, the problem that we, we look at is as you listen to these, these, these bitter old men that try and tell you what their small little life is worth. Okay, fine. And bitter young men. I mean, there are plenty of young guys that have been beat up and trounced on and broken hearted and everything that goes along with it. You know something? If you don't get off your horse... If you get thrown off your horse, you need to get right back on it. If you get off the horse, then you're not in for the ride. It's that simple. Get back on the horse. Um, don't believe all the BS that sits out there. Sure, be aware of it. Take a look at it. Understand it. Understand that you face those same Issues. I mean, many of the men that would be watching this right now, they ended up coming or are thinking of coming to the Philippines for those very reasons that we're going, I, I just talked about. They had problems in their own country, whether they're Americans, British, Bulgarians, Yugoslavians, who knows? 
All right? It doesn't matter. They had the same issues. You know something? Here's where it really equal, you know, here's where the road really, really and truly leads you. There are good people. There are bad people. There are people who are both willing to work hard on a relationship and we and and people who aren't. And I'm going to tell you, I don't think I work that hard on this relationship. Arlen and I just click. We just, you know what, Arlen, what do you got in mind for today? Nah, I would like to do this. Okay, let's go. Oh, Mike, what do you want to do today? Do you? Oh, what, what do you want to do about dinner tonight? Do you want to cook? Do you want to eat leftovers? Do you want to go out? Do you want to do this? Do you want to? Do- oh, Mike, we need to take care of this. Oh, we need to take care of that. I mean. You know, we just click on so many different levels. Perhaps that would have been no different if I had found an American woman that we clicked on so many different levels. Who knows? But I found a Filipino woman quite accidentally. All right. But unlike some bloggers, my wife hasn't thrown me out. My wife hasn't given up on me. My partner hasn't disowned me. My partner, you know, all the things you can do to complain. I mean, trust me, there are bloggers right now that are having relationship issues. There are so many bloggers. For those of you that have been around, you know, there are a lot of bloggers that no longer are bloggers that were here in the Philippines in a great relationship, and now they're not. No. Nine years, nine years we've been married. Nine years. Congrats to Arlen for tolerating me for nine years. Actually, she tolerated me for 11, and it looks like she's going to tolerate me a little bit more. All right? But my, my, my point with all of that is... There are plenty of good things, and there are plenty of bad. And so when you look at what it is that's going on out there, don't think it's all a bed of roses. But on the other hand, don't think that every Filipino woman out there is after you and your money. You know, there are going to be plenty of people that are going to disagree. We'll hear it in the comments. They're going to talk about how they got screwed. They're going to be people that have great success stories. We'll see those in the comments as well. We will also hear from those people that are bona fide, certified, long term. I'm single and I'm never going to get, you know, engaged or married or whatever. Great. Good for you. You know, that's your life. Do your life the way you want it to be. But don't be afraid to look at the long-term situation. Don't be afraid of it by any way, shape, or means. Look, what are your experiences? What are your thoughts? What are you looking for? Are you coming to the Philippines looking for love? Have you found love? Okay? Let's hear about it. Um, let, let's, let's see what you think about it. Look, thanks so much. Have a great day.